Hi, uh, welcome to my video. Um, as requested by one of the buyers, he he needs some guide on the SC four hundred direct attached storage for twelve G HPA controllers. So I just set up one to have a quick test to demonstrate how these things works. In order to make this SC400 working, you need the Dell cables, part number WTCFX. Um, it's a square types, plus cables. Um, 12G is different with the 6G. 6G is a bit flat one, so. So we're gonna have a look on the chassis. Basically, this one is MD1400. MD1400 um, for the Ecologic they call it SC400 but they're using the same controller so on this one come with 12 KDs I tried with 12 terabytes per bay SAS if you are not running the Dell controller in Dell firmware it's fine and you don't need the rate you can use it as a J board so on this testing notes i have the it mood sas controller 12g it's a dell card but it has been flashed to the it firmware for the testing purpose i just insert two of the drive and it's running on the centos because normally i use linus or centos when we run the sg scan minus i that's i comments um, it's print out I got data traveler which is my CentOS install on this USB bootable device and SG1 is a 4TB SAS 12G drive and SG2 is a second drive um, SG3 is a Dell controller so I just insert two drives so SG1 and SG2 and to make this common works you need to install the SG scans they call it SG utils, utilities and this is a print out with the comments so back to this one it's a Dell 1U blade uh, 1U server I just use the L320 because this is the one that I use to wipe the hard drive usually I use this one to wipe the hard drive and you need to connect from port 1 port 1 of the HPA card the Dell HPA card to this port 1 only the top controller it need to connect if you have the redundant ones you can connect the port 2 to the secondary controller port here if you want to daisy chain them you can do it from port 2 to the secondary unit port 1 so you can download the PDF files from the Dell website and Basically, this is how it's set up. So, please bear in mind this unit, it doesn't accept SATA hard drive. It only take the SAS hard drive. Um, let me shut down the node so I can show the hard drive that I connected to. Um, system is shutting down. So, and this one, um, you just take power off. This SAS cable can be removed. Okay, if you can see, this is the square type SAS cables. Uh, regarding the warning lights, we seen just now, because I only plug in one power supply on this unit, and same with the server, I only plug one just for the testing, just for the demonstrations. When it's properly rack mount, um, yeah, I will connect two of the power cables. So this is the cable that you need and this one go to the port 2. Uh, let me remove this one. Yep, this is the card that we connected to. Uh, make sure you update to the latest IT firmware.
is a 12 g hba card so 144 terabytes can be connected to on this das storage server and the bottom units is r320 because they are low power usage and i use this one for wiping hard drive hope this video can explain and if you encounter any problems first you need to make sure the firmware is updated on the hba controller and then you can try cable once only one emm connected you can just use one unless you want to daisy chain them to i think up to eight units so this is the controller they are same with the md 1400s if you want to know how the cables being daisy chain up you can download the technical info from the dell website and it's perfect for the true nas free nas or even the expanology hack if you like to tinkering around and this is the drive that i use it's a 12 g hgst drive and as i mentioned it doesn't have to be dell firmware unless you're running as a rate controller types on this store chassis any sas hard drive will do but not support any sata drive um that's for today thank you